So this is one of the other little girls that's come in with the rescue and she has a lot of fungal up around her ears but she's again been treated with revolution. The fungal itself has, you can see little bits of hairlessness here and there but um, and they, they actually have a naked patch directly behind their ear which is normal right here. But what I'm talking about is in here we can feel it's really tough and bristly and hard and the hair fibers feel so different. So when they start to harbor fungal and you've got little outbreaks on a body, quite often it can be from this area. Can't just, oh, sorry, sweetheart. She's pregnant as well. But you can start to see hair loss up around the face. Um, so she's getting really thin in through here in these areas and she's got bits on her body. So we're just gonna quickly just get some Maliseb on her, literally to to just deal with any fungal spores that are there. We know that there was fungal in the rescue and these girls, they're not, you know, they're not badly affected by that. But by being, um, through being pregnant where their body is trying to feed and nurture little ones on board, if there's anything else like fungal, whoop, 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 that is, Oh no, sweetie. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just going to do it really quick. Okay, that's all right. Let's just get this on you. This is just Maliseb in the water. We're just going to give her a light rinse. It's a dilute Maliseb. And if we treat the fungal that is here, any fungal spores, by the time this little girl has her young, she won't be dealing with another serious problem of fungal. So yeah. let's just get on top of those ears. Yeah. Because unfortunately too with these girls, they were their cage was never cleaned out for a good four or five months. Yep. Yeah. Alright, sweetie pie. Oh no. These ears will feel completely different after this, but um just need to eradicate any area where fungal spores are going to be and you know the, her ears just feel so grotty at the moment that um, it will just help enormously stay on top of that she's got a good coat on her so she's been eating but yeah she's got lots of Crusty gunk in here, you can see it as it comes out, but this is the sort of thing where fungal spores just harbour in areas that it's wet and moist, and we don't want that to become more of a problem. We want to get on top of it, it's easy and quick to treat right now. Get on top of it early so that all she has to concentrate on is really why all she has to concentrate on is, is having her bugs. There you go. Just complaining a bit of me. I'm being very gentle, but you've just never had your ears done before. It would be like us having someone do the outside of our ears. Yeah. Yeah, let's just fix this. Yeah. Make sure we've got it all out. It's feeling a lot better. Okay. This one over here. Sorry, sweeter pie. You know it's yucky. Oh, yeah. Mm. Their ears overall are very sensitive. It's one of the areas that other piggies will nip them and bite them. And, um, you know, with that in mind, it's a perfect location for fungal to harbour. Mm. Oh dear, it's not as bad. No, it's still as manky, still a bit there. Some ears are really like they can be filled to the absolute brim. Um, and cases like that, they always get continual fungal outbreaks in little areas, and people wash them and treat them, and they don't understand where it's still coming from. And it might just be the tiniest patch of fungal spores that the piggy is then scratching the face, scratching their ears and then can then transmit it.
or if they're in a cage like these girls have come from a rescue that wasn't from a rescue situation that wasn't ideal and they're still harboring a little bit of fungal so we just need to make sure it's off them and then just let them eat well and there we go and have the rest of their young so we're going to give her some grass time there we go All right. dry off in the sun awesome okay this is uh, one of the fellows from the rescue and we're being really quiet because when when you've got piggies that are free range or have come from a really bad situation they're terrified and this little guy is a dominant male boar he is in really good shape but in terms of bathing or doing any sort of treatment with these piggies they're really frightened and you'll see him move quickly so if you're not used to holding them it can be really really tricky and the process of taming a guinea pig like this takes considerable time and effort to really do that well now right now we're just doing a health examination to check where he's at what's going on so we can get him to a just know everything about him in terms of I am going to actually just quickly put him in I'm just going to pop some antifungal on him and you'll see that bathing piggies that are terrified is very different to bathing pets that have had treatment and the trick is to move really really slowly and to not have any noises so I'm actually going to stop talking so we can just watch the process of how I do it how we can keep him calm without shooting out of my hands A lot of fungal in that ear which is why he's reacting that way it's this ear more so than the other but that's why he's jumping when I touch it now I really don't like wearing gloves when I do this because you can see their claws can get stuck in the glove and it just becomes trickier Actually, I'm gonna get you to pull my glove off for me Thanks. It's all from that wrist. That's it, right? That's better. Yeah. So you need to do it without gloves on. And then you can very calmly hold them. And hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, let's see. see the white of his eyes that means he's very frightened we're not harming him at all we're going to stay really calm and just help him see this is the problem just this sort of severe build up and when we deal with a whole rescue you need to make sure that all of them are treated really well so that you can eradicate problems up front and every guinea pig that comes in needs to be assessed on a one-on-one -on -one basis so you can deal with any issues that they have You guys can feel so much better. 
So guys, if you've got a guinea pig out there that is something like a free range guinea pig, a guinea pig that's really terrified, the trick is to move slowly and just stay really quiet. And yes, my love. Are you able to move back a bit so you can also get me in it, Anne-Marie, doing this? So these crusty bits, like that, even though he's got dark skin in his ear, these sorts of bits are perfect for harbouring um, problems. Fungal absolutely loves ears like this, and so do sarcoptic mange mites. They tend to break out around the, the ears, head, neck more so. And I haven't known a case of sarcoptic mange mites where the ears haven't been badly affected. Right, you can see this guy's got a little guy be bathed on that. Yeah, I This is perfect for harboring loads of problems. Um, guinea pigs quickly work out who is holding you as well. And in that respect, they react very quickly. So if a child was to have a guinea pig, they know that they can easily get away from if the child is not really confident at holding or handling the guinea pig. So the way that you wrap them, hold them, deal with them is really important because they will quickly work out their behaviour according to what they can assess and know. There's some very sore ears there. This is why I bathed this guy. It was really necessary. He's a dominant male boar. He's used to getting away. And this is going to help him feel a lot better. a chance to really look down through this coat and see what's going on. Yeah, so that will be a really big um, bonus getting that antifungal on his coat and having his ears sorted. He'll be a lot better soon. Okay.